I'm Jeffrey Fagan, the Isidore and Seville Selsbacher Professor of Law at Columbia Law School. There have been increases for the past two years in several cities in the United States in murders. I don't think we're anywhere near approaching epidemic proportions of the homicide increase. The increases in murder tend to be exaggerated a little bit because they are increases that are small in number but large in percentages. Chicago is an interesting case study. It suffered more than any other large American city in terms of the size of the homicide spike that's gone on. It's extremely concentrated spatially. It's in a handful of neighborhoods and police districts on the south side and the west side of the city. Much of the rest of Chicago remains quite safe, and actually if you take those neighborhoods out of the city, Chicago's homicide rate is flat or declining over time. Police are focusing on minor criminal violations. This is the broken window strategy. That's not where murder is coming from. And uh, I think it's one of the things that made the community cynical. It's a two-way street. Police are cynical about being criticized. And at the same time, communities are cynical about being over-policed with respect to what they believe to be irrelevant minor crimes and under-policed with respect to the ones that actually put their lives at risk.